In this section of the class, we're going to talk about derivatives of trig functions, trigonometric functions. That means sine, cosine, tangent, secant, all those things that you learned from your trig or your pre-cal. Now, um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time deriving this stuff. You can look in your calculus book and, and it tells you how it's derived and all its excruciating detail. My goal is to tell you which um, identities, which derivatives you need to know for your problems, and then to go ahead and work some problems so that you'll know how to use them. So let's just go right into it. On the right-hand side of the board, I'm going to go ahead and write some derivatives that you're going to need to basically memorize. And then um, we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll derive one of them for you to show you kind of what's going on, and then we'll work some problems. So remember, there's, there's basically six trig functions. There's sine, cosine, tangent, and then there's cotangent, secant, and cosecant. So these are all cyclic trigonometric functions. We're going we're gonna to have the derivatives of those defined here. So I'll just say that the derivative with respect to x of sine of x, derivative of sine of x with respect to x is equal to cosine of x. Okay? So the derivative of sine is cosine. The derivative of cosine is just simply negative sine x. So you see these are kind of cool already because you know derivative of sine is cosine and derivative of cosine is negative sine. So they're opposites of one another. It's just that you have a negative in there you have to remember. The derivative with respect to x of tangent x is just equal to secant squared. Okay. And the derivative with respect to x of cotangent is equal to negative cosecant squared. And the derivative of secant is equal to tangent x times the secant of x, tangent times secant. So this is a multiplication here, tangent of x times secant of x. And then finally, the derivative of cosecant is equal to negative cotangent cosecant. Okay, and again, there's a parentheses around here, so you're you're taking you're taking these two quantities and you're multiplying together. So I know it looks a little bit crazy here, okay, and it's going to seem a little bit crazy at first because we haven't derived squat here. I'm just showing you what the results are because my the point here is for me not to derive everything. The point is to learn how to use this stuff. There is a little bit of symmetry here that you'll see, and, and you can kind of just see it by reading. Derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. Derivative of tangent is secant squared. Derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. So you see, if you write it in this order, you've got a negative here and a negative here, and you'll see you've also got a negative here. And this is secant squared and cosecant squared, so there's a little bit of a symmetry there. Derivative of secant is tangent times secant. Cosecant is negative cotangent times cosecant. So if you say this list, you know, about ten times, you'll start to just remember it, okay? Now, don't forget, what does a derivative mean? Okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, go into a lot of detail, but remember what the, the graph of the sine function looks like? Looks like this, okay? And this is uh, 2 pi right here. So over 2 pi radians, it has one complete cycle. What this means is that, the derivative is the cosine function, right? Which looks something like this. So that means